My name's Guy Kestevan. I've been a professional mountain bike and kit tester for nearly 25 years. And today I'm in Blackamoor Plantation with the guys from Kotick to have a look at the tech details on their brand new Kotick Jet. So as you can see, uh, two colorways here. So before I forget, I'm gonna mention the fact that uh, these are some of the first 30 bikes where the mainframe is made by Five Land up in Scotland who've been working on uh, several of the bikes in the Cotic range and the first 30 bikes of these new jet bikes will be made by them up in Scotland before the full Taiwanese production kicks in. But, you know, in terms of how the bikes are actually put together, exactly the same uh, custom 853 tube set on the front end here. So there's your little Reynolds uh, logo on there. I mean, it's their top of the range, uh, air hardening steel, proper premium uh, Crow Molly, highly evolved tube set, which Sai has then added uh, his own touches to. Uh, so you've got this uh, signature oval form top tube, and you can see it's now really, really clear uh, swell there around to the round you can really see that physical change in the top tube now and then this little gusset post on there uh, on this bike as well because the uh, linkages are dropped lower for the drop link you've actually got more seat post room so you can either run a longer stroke seat post or you know you just fit on a slightly broader range of bikes in the range uh, reinforced down tube reinforced top tube are shared with the Kotic Rocket Max so this is a super tough frame and then the back end is a mixture of steel and alloy uh, so you've got a really nice machined yoke uh, down the bottom on the chainstay just move that built out there you can see the weld line through there holding it all together bags of mudroom and he's got a 2.4 in now but you'll easily get a 2.6 in there uh, with a 29 attire uh, that's your drop link pivot on the rear so it's a seat stay pivot uh, with these little superstar alloy kicker links there I mean it's a really really well evolved suspension system and then you've got these super neat uh, 148 mil boost axle uh, blocks there with the Sintase bolt dropping vertically through which you then attach the rear mech onto but yeah just talking about frame details uh, it's got ISCG mounts in there for a uh, chain guide and it comes standard with this little uh, chain guide on the top just sat there obviously it's dropper post ready and then the rest of the cabling all runs externally so super easy bike to work on to work with you know easy servicing you know if you're racing enduro or you just don't fancy chasing uh, pipes through the middle of a, a steel tube set uh, another alloy little shock shuttle there that's been remodeled recently so again increasing the strength of these bikes so this is a properly hench frame set uh, even though you know travel comes down they have not compromised on strength at all so just to run through the numbers 64 and a half degree head angle uh 76 ish seat angle with that kink seat tube depending on where you run the uh, seat tube uh but again you know a nice aggressive uh climbing angle with a properly slack front end and 490 mil reach uh the, all the drop link bikes get a 490 mil reach on them in the large size and then obviously la longer on the extra large what's an extra large size 515 five on, five on the extra large and on the medium it's very handy having a designer just sat over there so uh, yeah hope you got that uh yeah because i'm not repeating it because i'll get it wrong and then so i'll clobber me but yeah so 150 mil up front on this gold build this is the gold xt build courtesy of this cane creek helm fork it's the helm generation 2 a little bit more supple uh slightly wider user range on it but it's one of my favorite forks anyway so and it just i mean the way this fork and the shock and everything work together. I mean, it's no surprise they do because Sai and the team have just been working for, with Cane Creek for a long, long time to get this package really, really dialed. But I have to say, this bike is such a sweet spot. Goldilocks, whatever you want to call it, best of. Now that's what I call Kotick. You know, what, however you want to phrase this, this bike is absolutely kind of all that's brilliant about the character and the charisma they bring out of these steel tubes. But with just awesome super well balanced control but not in a way that dulls the bike at all or dulls your sensation on the trail it's just an awesome platform in terms of predictability and confidence without that kind of dulling the liveliness and the responsiveness the way that front end flicks and twitch you know just flicks from one corner to the next but still when it lands it sticks it doesn't shimmy it doesn't lose control anyway look there's a live ride review that goes with this tech talk round and you know you'll hear me getting oh, well over excited about the bike on there so i don't really need to do that again here i've just can't help myself and again just you know really sweet welding here uh 
around the head tube, where you've got a little bit of ring reinforcing on there. And again, just little details like these gussets. You know, Sai has been working with steel frames for so long. And he's, you know, he works with the tube set designers. He works with, you know, the builders themselves. And structurally, it's absolutely, you know, it is a work of art. And, uh, you know, Rich Babel has been doing, uh, gone to next level on the stickers as well for this one. He said it's been really, really nice. Uh, having a little bit of extra time to work on these bikes and they've put together a whole suite of uh, videos and I've seen some stills from an amazing shoot in uh, a quarry uh, up in the Lake District so uh, yeah full package not just a totally sorted frame they've really gone to town on this one and the nice thing is is it's not just kind of like window dressing on a bike that kind of like kind of ought to be made because it's in the middle of the range this is a bike that has its total own identity you know this stands in its own right dead center trail bike sorted kind of persona oh, i'm waffling on again let's just talk about spec i'm losing myself so this is uh, like i say it's gold xt so no surprise shimano xt brakes shimano xt transmission uh, you can get sram x01 and you can get slx and then you can get platinum uh, build with titanium cranks and they'll also be introducing a uh, rock shock suspension package as well and you can get fox there's basically how you know there are default packages within the Kotic range starting about three grand going up to sort of six plus this is around the five grand mark i don't you know prices are changing so much at the moment on everything to do with bikes you know there's no point nailing down exact figures but you know the nice thing is because they're just a small company working out of a workshop in calver if you want to make some adaptions whether you want you know you put your existing wheels in or you know you want a slightly different wheel from the hunt range or whatever or you want hope wheels you know they'll work with you to put together exactly the bike you want without it still you know without it affecting what is still really really good value but, you know, I can wax Eric about angles and chat about, you know, how the bike's put together. You really, really need to watch the ride reviews on these bikes. It's the life. Uh, just steel, you know, it really, when it's done this well, it has a u totally unique ride quality to it. And Sai just makes the absolute most of that with uh, how he builds these bikes. So uh, make sure you watch the uh, ride review. Oh, um, there's a couple of bits that I haven't chatted about. Uh, bottom bracket height is just over 340 mil. So again, relatively high uh, in terms of a fully slammed bike, but that gives you useful pedal clearance. And chain stay length, Si? 448. 448. So again, you know, medium to long chain stay length, but great stability. And I have to say this, together with that seat, seat angle, climbs like an absolute beauty even though the bike you know even with that pedals on is over 15 kilos it'll claw and you know smoothly just flow up well apparently the climb we came back up was a bit of a trophy climb around here and uh i'm not claiming any uh bragging rights off it because the bike it was the bike that did it i just you know no drama at all just perfect poise going up it you know despite the fact it looked properly terrifying coming down it uh, and again perfect poise down that and as well as Kelvin's awesome graphics, uh, Rich's bike is also running the uh, new Cane Creek Kitsuma Shock with all the gold dials. I mean, either way, whether you go for the uh, the Air RL on the bike I've been riding with the uh, climb lever on it, or you go for this Kitsuma, you've got loads of high and low speed compression and rebound damping adjustment on the shock. So it's a real tweaker shock. Uh, but, you know, this is a bike for people who really appreciate that kind of top, percentage level of riding you know it's for proper it, yeah it is it's a connoisseur's bike is this whether you're into your shock tuning and or just really really sweet ride quality this is the kind of bike you end up on having ridden a lot of generic bikes and go i fancy something really really different really characterful and you can have that without sacrificing any versatility or any performance that's the beauty of this range now particularly this bike because this is totally dialed you know it's just perfectly placed if the flare max isn't quite enough for you and the rocket max is too much then shazam you know jet that's exactly why it's been built but despite that it's not kind of a bike designed by a committee it doesn't feel like it, it it's got a real identity you know it is that proper sweet spot compilation bike that so many people chase with their designs but very few actually properly dial so i'm going to turn the camera around and say 
uh, massive thanks to Kotick for inviting me down to Chef uh, to ride the bikes before they're launched. Uh, massive thanks to you guys for watching. Please click for notifications. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, do the thumbs up thing because that puts me in an algorithm that means more people get to watch the videos. Massive thanks to my Patreon supporters who uh, help with a small monthly pledge to the channel and they get extended early and behind the scenes edits and they also get kind of a higher level of communication from me if such a thing is desirable. Uh, so if you like what I'm doing with the channel, please consider joining them on Patreon for a very small monthly fee. But for now, I've been Guy Kestevan on Guy Kes TV talking about the new Kotic Jet. <laughs>